And welcome back one and all. My name is Eltimar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Dragon Age Origins. Where we left off last time, we had died. Well, we didn't die. We crashed. Not the same thing. This should be easy enough. Let me try to use that. Nope. We for some reason lost our blood abilities again. Man, blood abilities are really glitchy. And again, this whole game is kind of glitchy, so... I'm not going to uh, be too critical of just one aspect of the glitchiness. I've dealt with countless crashes already, so... It's just what it is right now. What the hell? Why is no one attacking? Fine, I'll deal with it myself. Ooh, a health poultice. Pretty much the best loot I could have hoped for. Why does it keep turning itself off? It's a sustained ability. It shouldn't turn itself off ever. Anyways, there's a guy named Ruck up here. Let's go talk to him. And a gen lock. Why? Why? Where are you going? There's nothing for you here. It's mine. I've claimed it. And how do you propose to eject me? The crawlers will take you away. Oh yes. Soon you'll be gone, like all the others. So you're delusional. You, you'll bring the dark ones back, you will, and they'll crunch your bones. It's my claim, not yours. Crunch your bones. Dude is straight up to oh no. There are many enemies coming at us this time. And our blood magic is turned off again all by itself. Unsurprisingly. Sorry, Shale, you ran right into that. If anyone knows why my blood magic mode keeps turning itself off, that'd be super to know. It's kind of annoying, because I can't use any of the blood abilities I picked, which makes them absolutely worthless, and we shouldn't have even bothered at that point, because they're not going to work ever. I should have just chose fire at that point. Or arcane warrior, or something along those lines. Oh, there's a chest up there we need to get. It has a very clear arrowy mabob. The Ortentog chest. The records. We found the records that we needed. We're heroes and stuff. Now, a sunder is down this way somewhere. Also, it looks like there's a whole ton of enemies. One second. My apologies for that. Let us continue on our way. There's a dead stone golem there. And like... Just a ton of dwarves. Fallen dwarves? I don't know what to call them. Alright, we should be good now. Let's walk out. Guys, come after me. Come through the cold. That golem is not happy that I tried to freeze him. I did freeze him. You guys have got this right. Ow. Oh, why do I have everyone selected? I might die here. Freak a thing. Alright, that should be good enough. Everybody's dead, mostly. There's a book here. Keridin's Journal. There's also a chest that is a broken chest with some dwarven heavy armor in it. Not really worth our time. There's also some stuff on the other... Oh, it's just the spider we killed. Right, okay. Let's try this thing. The altar in front of you, though broken, tingles with energy. I'm going to place the body parts on the altar. You have restored that which was cut asunder. 
and revealed my hiding place. Speak your intention. Seek you vengeance? You're free creature, reward me. So be it. You are rewarded. And I shall toy with this realm another day. Okay, bye. We got 25 whole gold from that. Alright, quick save. And we'll continue on our way. There are some enemies across the path there, but let's go over here. Let's go find out what that guy was talking about. He said that he was hiding something that he found. It was his. His own. His precious. Uh, this looks interesting. Let's carefully go here. Hi, Ruck. So, uh, no what's way. going this on? Is, mine. Only I get to plunder its riches. is this Bronca's campsite? It's mine. I'm the one who found it. I drove out the crawlers. Now it's mine. Do what I say or I will kill you. Please don't hurt Ruck. Ruck is sorry. Ruck should be sorry. Do you need to trade? Ruck has some things. From the camp. Sometimes the webs. You give him shiny coins, no? Yeah, I'll give you shiny coins if you have something good. Let me take a look. What is a destructionist belt? One magic, one mana regen, three spell power. It's okay, I guess. Ruck, I am very disappointed in your loot. Take your silver symbol, though. Let's open the vase. Right. Top sider pommel. Nice, another piece of the top sider sword. As you wish. Dark spawn dead body. Some silver. Fractured stone. Deep mushrooms. Good. Let's uh, see if he has anything else to say. Ah, don't hurt me. Ruck will do what you want. Good job, Ruck. I have some questions though. I will answer your questions. I think I met your mother. Is her name Filda? No filter, no mother, no warm blanket and stew and pillow and soft words. Ruck doesn't deserve good memories. No, 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 no. Your mother misses you. She asked me to find you. She, she did not know. Not what I did. I was very, 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 very angry. And, and then someone was dead. And they wanted to send Ruck to the mines. If I went to the mines, she, she would know. Everyone would know. So I came here instead. Once you eat. Once you take in the darkness, you not miss the light so much. You know, do you not? Ruck sees. <laughs> yes. He sees the darkness inside you. It's true. You have to tell your mother that you're alive. No, 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 she cannot. She remembers a boy, a little boy with bright eyes and a hammer, and she cannot say that. I swear. Promise vow you won't tell. I'm not going to lie for you. Scudgering in the shining. She can't know. Well, Gollum, I'm gonna tell her anyways. But he's a dwarf. He's not really a hobbit type creature that turned. He's a he's a dollum. Dollum. <laughs> Let's go across the bridge. So we found Ruck, at least. All right, we'll tell Flitta or Filda, Filda maybe, that her son is not doing well. Hi, Stone Golem. Did you throw a rock at me? That's just uncool. I'll hold the bridge.
I can take care of the golem. I will take care of the trash. I think they might have killed the golem. Alright, dead. Stamina draught. And some chests and junk. We apparently are too close to enemies and have re-entered some form of combat. Hmm. It's those two over there. Well, let's go kill them. I mean, there's only two of them plus a stone golem. That was really unfortunate. We just got punched in the face for no reason. I was kind of hoping that freeze would work. It did not. Who's um, who's up next for a level? More again, it looks like. And our dog is getting close too. Let's get started. I think we're getting close-ish to the level we need to be to kill the end boss. Probably a few more levels to go still, but all in all, we're getting pretty powerful. Though the blood magic thing is annoying me to no end. I really want to use blood magic, but since it turns itself off every 10 seconds, what's the... there's no point. Hello? Spiders? Trap? Nope, just running away. Interesting. The fact that they're running away is a little concerning. What do the giant spiders have to be afraid of? I mean, I guess we've killed like a lot of their kind. Like a lot. But even so... I don't think they'd be that scared of us. There's a lot of spider webs in this cave too, and a hard save, like a game auto save, which means there's probably going to be something really nasty in this room. And there goes the web, and we are going to die. The fact that there's an actual save before this means there's going to be a lot more probably coming out. Because that wasn't a hard fight. There's a Genlock Emissary there. I don't think he is the big bad envisioned by the autosave. Oh, you glyph of warding person. Or whatever that was. That should kill him. And Morgan leveled up. This should be easy enough. That's not a good sound. Alright, uh, I'll give her some magic. I guess we're gonna have to get some willpower because our blood mage ability is terrible. And we're gonna just gonna straight up ignore blood magic with her. We're actually gonna start going into fire, I think. Or finish up lightning. Let's finish up lightning first. There's two enemies up ahead. Nope, there are more than two enemies up ahead. Alright. I'm stuck and about to die again. Why is it that at the moment I get stuck, everyone comes to me to kill me? As opposed to Shale, who's beating on the face of whatever. I guess I'm going to be overwhelmed now.
Well, that's fair. Double overwhelm. Okay, so Shale and Morgan are all that's left. Shale, you can heal yourself. I'm bringing the... the Caster to you to help out. There we go. Everybody to come back to life now. That overwhelm ability is kind of brutal. Genlock Emissary dead though. And I saw a thingy up ahead. An arrowy. Right, of course. That's the Spider Queen who just webbed our entire group. Kill all of the little offspring first, and then we'll get started on her. She's leaving. I think we're gonna have more friends. Nope, just her again. I resist. Kind of annoying. And she's gone again, and moved over there. A couple corrupted spiders out. But then I mean several corrupted spiders out. We need to kind of get into position to help Morgan, but she's gonna die. Nope, I was going to try and heal her, but that is too little too late. Now where'd the queen go? Oh, the dog is almost dead too. Stop with that. It's annoying. Alright. Once I get out of this, we'll heal up the dog again. Freeze those two. Lightning those two. Kill that one. Heal the dog. Save up some MPs. And basically just auto-attack for a minute. wasn't so much a tough fight as it was a long fight. Also, what's Bloodline? That is a nice main hand weapon. And some gloves, which are okay, and some healing stuff, which is better than okay. Now we have Bronco's Journal. We also have some chests, which we can just ping open with our staff for a Soldier's Helm, which is tier 5, so we're not going to bother with. And fire arrows. Okay, what's the journal say? This looks like someone's journal. The cover is battered and torn, but intact. As you leaf through the desiccated pages, the text catches your eye. We found evidence today that the Anvil of the Void was not built in the Orton Tog. We will go south, to the dead trenches. The Anvil is somewhere beyond. 
My soldiers tell me I am mad, that the dead trenches are crawling with darkspawn, that we will surely die before we find the anvil, if we find it. I leave this here in case they're right. If I die in the trenches, perhaps someone can yet walk my, past my corpse and retrieve the anvil. For if it remains lost, so do we all. If I have not returned and Algren yet lives, tell him, no. What I have to say should be for his ears alone. This is my farewell. Bronca. What I'm also hoping you left me is a quick travel path out of this dungeon. But that does not appear to be the case. Oh, maybe over here. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Except maybe there. Let's go check that out really quickly. Yeah. See what's over there, and then we will probably just leave. If I had to hazard a guess. We must go south. So the path shows it's leading off that way, which is clearly not a path that we can take. That looks like just the river. So that is not a path for us to tread unless we can get down there somehow. I mean, it's not impossible. It's pretty much impossible. Damn, you level designers making it look like there's something really cool over there that we can't get to. But it's a lake. Lakes always have treasure in them. I learned that from Witcher 3. It's a little bit of a walk back, unfortunately. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. It's, well, it's not even that late. It's like 7 o'clock in the evening. God, I'm old. It's also because I woke up early today and went to bed late. I'm applying for a new job in a different province, and there was a written portion that was quite lengthy. I stayed up pretty late finishing it. So I'm a little bit tired today. Nope, can't go along that path. So that's it. We're out of here, pretty much. I guess we'll probably head back to town, turn in some quests, and then go to the next area. So we have to go south. There's only one way out to the south, I guess. I wonder if we can just quick travel out from here. Nope. You would make me walk the entire way back. Damn you, Bioware. This place could be so well defended if they just did a better job at building their defenses. I mean, realistically, they had golems, and, like, why isn't there just, like, 800,000 golems? I know it takes a while to build them or whatever, and there's, like, skilled craftsmen involved, but if I were building, like, defenses for a city against a massive supernatural invasion, like the Darkspawn, or, you know, extra-natural, I don't know if they're supernatural, but whatever. Anyways, an invasion of Darkspawn, evil incarnate. I would basically have as many people as could possibly be crafting golems as, as could be, you know, utilizing the, I'm sure there's a limit to the power of the anvil, but I'd have that person or those people working like full time, or I'd have crews, I'd have shifts, there'd be 24 hour golem creation teams, and all they would do is just build golems all the time, all day, every day, so that when the enemy showed up, like Darkspawn, say like a few thousand Darkspawn showed up, they'd meet like... A hundred thousand golems just packed tightly into these tight little corners, just like a wall of golems as far as you can see. And I realized as I did my hand motion to show you guys what I was meaning by pointing at the screen, you guys couldn't see that, but, you know, like a wall of golems just standing there, waiting. I'd even space them a little bit, like a tiny bit, so there could be a road. So you'd have... So you'd have, like, a golem here. Ah, what am I doing? So, like, golem, golem, golem. Road path so people can get through. Golem, golem, golem. So six golems across, give or take. Okay, I'll say four to six golems across. And just this whole hallway filled with them, just all the way down. And, yeah. I have a feeling that I would be rather successful at defending that against literally anything that can come along. And they're pretty easy to replace in terms of... Well, I don't, I don't know how long they take to make a golem, but let's say that they're relatively easy to replace. Although I... Yeah, because not all golems are like shale. Not all of them have consciousness. 
Why did I go to Keridan's Cross? Oh, we don't really need to. Oh, we're gonna go to an inquest. I was gonna say we don't really need to go back to the city. And we actually don't. You know what we'll do? While well, we're here, we're gonna go open up the next area, hopefully. And then we will go back to the city instead of the new area. That is what we shall do. Such a long, long walk. I can't remember the actual... Well, it doesn't work. Hmm. So they went south from here, right? But we are in the south path. There is no other path. Weird. So it is through Keridan's Cross. I mean... Did we just not unlock it or...? Well, let's go back to town, turn in those quests and then we'll deal with... Right. ...that later on, I guess. Maybe something has opened up that allows us to go a different way. I didn't check, so. Let's go turn in some quests, though. First and foremost. Excuse me, guys. Let's go tell some people the bad news about lots of things. Okay, first up is way over on the other side of this district. Filda. I didn't expect you back so soon. Have you been to the deep roads already? Yes, but you might not want to hear it. What is it? Is he dead? Oh, please don't torment me. I'm afraid Ruck went crazy after too long in the deep roads. Crazy? Oh, ancestors, save him. I've heard of this. Lost soldiers turning on each other, eating darkspawn flesh. Is that what happened to my boy? Why didn't you bring him home? Rook didn't want you to see him like that. Such a good boy. Still thinking of me after all he's been through. I have to go to him. He needs me. Oh, he must be so frightened out there. So lonely. I thank you for what you've done. Even if you couldn't be bothered with more. Take this. It's my husband's masterwork. The first shield he smithed. I was saving it for Ruck, but I want you to have it. As my thanks. Uh, Ruck could have used a shield, but you know what? Thanks. I'll take it. I'm not too picky. Um, we need to do exotic methods next. Nope. Lost in the memories. Orta and the shape where it needs them. What level are we now, by the way? 
We are level 16. Diamond Gorder. All the way up to the Shaper It. I love the uh, propaganda call or criers that just spew out garbage all day. It's like modern day social media. Nobody wants the whole story, they just want the title or the uh, headings. Orda. I, I started to worry. I didn't know if you were ever coming back. Did you find any records? Any sign of the old Orton Tig? Yeah, the record's right here. You you found them? Let me see. That's my great grandmother's name. And her husband. Oh great ancestors, it's them! It's me! I am an Orton. Oh thank you. I have to take these to the assembly right away. Find me there. Once these are acknowledged, I'll give you any reward. Okie dokie. I guess we're off to the assembly now. They're probably going to be like, nah, we don't want you in the council. And then I'm going to be like, hey, hey you. You with the ugly. Let her on the council, because I need people to vote for my preferred kingly candidate. Mr. Balin. Hi. My name's Orta. After the old Orton house. They gave our seat back, and the records show which houses still owe House Orton money. One day, I will be able to properly thank you for all you've done for me. Lend your support to Balin for King. I will, I will. And I don't know what treasure is left, but whatever I get, you can have as much as you want. I'll have to find someone willing to look. Maybe a whole expedition. If the Taig is still there, it must have something. House Orton will not forget this kindness. Didn't that sound official? It did sound fairly official. Good job. Alright, so... In we go. Or out we go. Out we go. I suppose that's going to be it for this video. I actually have no idea how long it is at this point. I've had a couple of jump cuts because of... events outside of my control. Like a crash. And then a dog barks. You know, the norm for my life these days. I just realized I have a very negative, I speak very negatively of my dog all the time, all of his barking and stuff. He is the best puppy, just as a heads up. He's a really good and loyal and cute puppy. He just does, he barks a lot. That's the only thing. But, you know, I don't dislike him. I just like his barking, but he is my little puppy, so. We are going to head out, and in the next video, we will be finding the next area of the deep roads. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.